that learning a new programming language, just like learning any language, can be difficult sometimes. There's a completely new vocabulary, and it's also a completely new way of thinking. It's just, you know, you've got to learn how to send commands and specifically talk to the robot in, in use devices, and it's, you know, not something that most people do in their day-to-day -day lives, which are program robots. So what we've done is we've come up with Robotsy's natural language, which is uh, sort of taking all of the different functionality of the VexIQ system, and we condense it down into easy to use commands such as forward, turn right, and repeat. So by using these basic building block commands, you and your students will be able to learn how to program the robot and how the interfaces and motors and sensors work without having to worry about all of the sort of minutia and in, in the details of programming uh, in a C programming language. Natural language will also allow us to drag and drop commands from Robot C's functions uh, library into our text editor. So we'll take a look at that. That's a cool feature as well to, uh, to save us on doing some typing. So imagine last week we took a look at some of the, you know, code about moving to specific uh, rotation targets and moving the motors and then waiting until motors stop and all of this different sort of complex code, which can be difficult for a new learner. And what natural language does is it takes all of this configuration data, all of these different sort of details and, and you know, intricacies of programming, and we condense it down into a single easy to use command. So basically the, the top like eight or nine lines of code that you see together are condensed down into this two line program at the bottom, simply just saying, hey, I'm using a claw bot and telling my robot that I wanna move forward for some specified amount, which we'll talk about here soon. But we feel that this is an easy way for folks to get up and running and start understanding uh, programmatic thinking and also just robotics in general by starting with the natural language system and we've designed it as such. With Robot C 4.0, this is actually going to be the second version of natural language that we've done. We, we released a version about two years ago and we did a lot of research around it and uh, have made a lot of changes to make it even easier. So inside of Robot C, in order to enable the natural language functionality, all you would do is go to the robot menu under platform type, and there's an option there that says natural language, and it's kind of a check on or off. Uh, we've recently reworked uh, the natural language functionality, so the version of Robot C that's available right now, which is preview version number two, uh, does not work with the natural language. Uh, the library was not complete but the version that we'll be releasing later on this week that you'll be able to download will have all kinds of fun sample programs and all of the natural language functionality. So tonight's kind of a sneak preview as we uh, continue to put the final and finishing touches onto the natural language library. So with natural language, there's two ways in order to get started. Um, what's great about you know programming is that uh, you want to always try and start from at least a template or someone uh, or some existing program. You know, there's no sense in constantly reinventing the same wheel, especially when that wheel happens to be connected to a robot that you want to make it move. Uh, and so what we can do is there are two different ways in Robot C. You can always open a sample program. With Robot C comes with about 60 sample programs right now uh, that are in the more complex normal Robot C language. Uh, but we, we'll be adding between 30 and 40 uh, natural language specific sample programs uh, in this next build. Or you can also start with a template where we have a natural language template which takes care of putting in all of the task name and curly brackets and, and it will even put in the line of code for setting up the robot as a claw bot since that's the only robot that we're using right now in our, uh, in our classes and with our lessons. So, so Inside of natural language, we're going to take a look at some of the code, but the first line of code that we saw was set robot type. And all that this line is doing is that basically we know what devices are connected to our claw bot. And so all that we do is we tell our robot that, hey, we're using a claw bot. And then the natural language system will intelligently go through and connect all of the motors and name them all of the correct names. And it's an easy way to get started. So let me hop over to robot C. And we're going to take a look at two things right now. Uh, so give me just one second. I'm going to switch over to my desktop. All right, we've got our desktop here. 
So now I'm going to bring up the, the robot C in the, the natural language, and I have a program here, but I'm just going to go ahead and close it. I was doing a little testing before class. But I can open a sample program by going to File, Open Sample Program. And inside of here, we've got about um, 60 sample programs that we can use. Uh, but for right now, since I'm going to use a template, I'm going to go to File, New, and select Natural Language Template. And what this will do is it will go ahead and set up a natural language template. And just part of this template during the preview portion, we have all of the configuration and the names of the different motors and sensors that are available uh, and where they're connected, just as kind of a nice reminder for you as you're going through and programming with your robot. But you can see down inside of our task main structure, which is, uh, just as a reminder, is the, the main structure of Robot C, and it's an important thing as it tells the, the robot where to begin and where the program ends, as all of the code lives inside of task main. And you can see right now that our only piece of code right now is the set robot type with vex IQ clawbot inside of the parentheses. So this is what we would call a function. Set robot type is a function or a command. It's a part of the language. And inside of the parentheses are where we will pass parameters or data. Basically, we send settings to that command or that or that function. And then every single line of code inside of robot C, when it's a command, ends with a semicolon. And so this basically are the three parts of our, our core language structure is we have commands and, and functions, we then send them parameters, and then we end them with a semicolon to denote kind of the end of a statement or end of a, uh, end of a line of code. So inside of robot C, we've got this. And right now, I'm already in natural language mode. But remember, we can get to natural language mode by going to robot platform type and selecting natural language. And see, I have a little check mark next to it, which means that I'm currently enabled in natural language mode. So everything's working there just great.